I am the medical director of the Natural Solutions Foundation, and I'd like to ask you if your health and your life are worth $265. It's not for me. I don't make a penny from it. But you need the information that a $265 test can give you. Let's talk first about your adrenals. Your adrenals are tiny little glands that sit on top of your kidneys and regulate how well you respond to stress. If you respond to stress very well and you come back down from stress and your body does not become adrenally fatigued, congratulations. You're not like most people in the modern world. You see, most people are stressed by their checkbooks, by their work schedule, by their families, by their commitments, by their successes, by their failures, by everything. Unlike our ancestors who were stressed quickly when something happened, when they met a saber-toothed tiger and they had to either fight or run away in order to survive. Or they were trapped under a rock fall and they had to have extra strength in their muscles to claw their way out. But after it was over, they settled back down and things went back to normal. And so we developed two systems, the sympathetic system, which says, there's an emergency, I must respond and the parasympathetic system, which says everything is fine. I can relax, I can build my immune system, I can digest my food, I can have sexual thoughts and feelings, I can create poetry. I'm in a state of relaxation. Clearly, they have to be in balance. What happens if we become so adapted to the multiple stresses of our lives that in fact we are always dipping into the stress response well and our adrenals have to keep putting out their hormones of stress response corticosteroids and we become first of all adapted to them so that we don't function very well without them and fatigued by them so that we don't function very well with them now, most of us, especially high performers, don't even notice. We become so used to being in a stressed mode that we think we're fine. We even think we're relaxing when our adrenals are pumping out more and more and more of the stress hormones. What happens? Well, in a stress situation, all of the non-essential functions go on hold. Let's start at the top and think about that. Our rational thinking, the left and right cortex, isn't really necessary in an emergency. All that's necessary is our innate, inborn, instinctive response. So we don't think very well during an emergency. And if we're always in an emergency, we're not likely to be using our highest reasoning capacity when we make decisions and carry out our activities. Our sexual functioning, which is controlled from here, not from down below, is diminished because if that saber-toothed tiger is coming at us, we're not really terribly interested in making love at that moment. If we are, we're lunch and we don't get to pass our genes on to the next generation. Our clotting changes. Our blood gets thicker. So if a claw rakes us, we don't bleed to death as easily. Our digestion is put on hold. In fact, in extreme stress, our bowels will empty themselves. Our bladder will empty itself so that we do not have to spend biological energy digesting food or metabolizing or retaining urine. People under stress often get frequent urination. They also get diarrhea or bouts of diarrhea and constipation. The 
GI tract is extremely responsive to the emotional perceptions that are being processed there. Our heart may race. We may develop arrhythmias. We may develop um, rapid heartbeat, tachycardia. We may develop blood pressure problems because in that stress situation you want your blood pumping to your muscles and you want your blood pumping to the essential organs but you don't want your blood pumping to your GI tract and to your sexual organs you do want your blood pumping to your eyes you do want dilation so that you can get every bit of vision available to help you get away from or master the challenge that's coming toward you or that you're involved with. Your relationship skills are not going to be at their best under conditions of chronic stress. Your body needs minerals for those emergency responses so you will strip those minerals including calcium from your bones. Your bones will thin under chronic stress, you will develop osteoporosis and you will be more prone to all of the problems with demineralized bone and teeth. You could have dental problems from chronic stress. I know it sounds strange, but that's the reality. Your personality will change. Your weight will change. You will tend to hang on to water and so you will bloat and your clothes won't fit as sleekly and as nicely as you think they should. You will develop various kinds of responses and they're not good responses to these changes. Many of the chronic degenerative diseases of undernutrition are chronic degenerative diseases of chronic stress which calls for more nutrients which you don't get, especially not with the Western diet. Your sugar metabolism will be dysregulated. Now if this is happening for a moment, that's one thing. But if it's happening for a lifetime, that's much more than one thing. And so we need to find out why, for example, you're not sleeping well. We need to find out why, for example, you can pull up reserves of energy and you can perform and do what you need to do, but there's a fatigue creeping in, maybe a very deep fatigue. We need to find out for men, for example, why their breasts are growing. Men should have breast tissue, but not breasts. We need to find out why both men and women are aging prematurely. We need to find out why men's erections are not as strong as they would like them to be. We need to find out why skin is sagging. We need to find out why people wake up with the appropriate numbers of hours of sleep opportunity, but they don't feel rested. We need to find out why people's immune systems are dragging and failing and flagging and there are more infections, and there are more colds, and there are more flus, and ultimately there are more chronic diseases that involve viruses, that involve cancer, that involve dysregulation on a chronic basis. Why? Hmm. Because your adrenals are fatigued. Now, now, I can't tell you from this distance precisely where your stress hormones are. But I can tell you that if you live a life of chronic stress and you don't truly know how to re-regulate your parasympathetic and your sympathetic balance at a profound level and if you don't do it on a regular basis, I can tell you that your entire endocrine system will be disrupted. I can tell you that your energy system will be disrupted and I can tell you that your immune system will be disrupted. So what would I do about it? Well, I would ask you to take a simple non-invasive test which currently costs about $265. The test is one in which at given times during a 24-hour period 
or longer as needed. You will fill a container, a small plastic container, which is provided for you with saliva. You spit into a cup. It's that simple. You put the cap on the container. You put the containers well labeled into a specially provided envelope and you mail it to the laboratory. What they're looking for is stable in the saliva because there's a preservative in the cup, no need to worry, and it will give you an enormous amount of information which will then help me to help you if we're working together. If not, it will allow you to understand what's happening in your body and take corrective measures on your own or go to another health care person who can help you change what's going on. Now, I like to do a panel of eight tests. I want to test the male hormones. I want to test the female hormones. I want to test DHEA. I want to test the cortisol and all of its variations. And I want to test them in the morning, at noon, in the evening, and at night. It's very simple. You spit into the containers provided. You cap and label the containers. You pop them into the provided mailer. And you send it off with a check or credit card telling the company how it will be paid. And they'll send you the results. Now, if you live in the state of New York, you can't do this. Only people who mail their mailer from another state can do this. People who live in Connecticut, in New Jersey, can mail their mailer and the results will be sent to the return address. People who live in California cannot do this. The states have decided that you do not have the right to know this about your body. Some people, and I cannot tell you what to do, some people will go to another state to mail the mailer and will use a return address in another state. That, of course, is a completely personal decision. Now, I would like to recommend ZRT, that's Zebra Ronald Tango Labs. And I suggest that you go to www zrtlabs.com and order the male or female eight test panel. Cost is about $265. It's simple, it's easy, and while you're at it, why not have your spouse do the same? I have no relationship with ZRT Labs. They do not pay me a commission. The only thing I get if you choose to send it to me is your lab result. And if we're working together, I will interpret that lab result for you. And you will see what a wealth of information about your past, your present, and about your likely future resides in that test. It's important. There's no way that you're not experiencing stress more often than we biologically evolved to experience stress. Some few lucky people are very good at metabolizing stress. They ride with it biologically. A few more people think they're very good at it. They say, nothing bothers me, but their bodies tell a different story. And most people understand full well that their bodies are being impacted in a negative way by the chronic continuing stress that they face. www.zrtlabs.com The full eight test male or female panel, saliva in a cup. It's so simple and it's so important. This is Rima E. Label, MD, wishing you good health and robust, vigorous enjoyment of your life.